Ever wanted to create these captions for your videos, but you don't know how, or you just have to kind of go and manually type word by word every time you want to create these kind of captions? Well, not in today's video, because in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to automatically generate these captions and add them to your videos. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So we need three things before we get started. Number one is the video that you want to create captions for, of course, and the video editor and also this transcription tool. In this case, I'm going to be using Buzz transcription tool. You can guys check it out from here on how to download it and how to use it because I already made a video about it. So if you have all of these ready, let's go and get it. All right, guys. So this is the Buzz tool to help us transcribe our videos. I already made a video about it on how to use it. So you can go ahead and download it or watch the video on how to use it. It's, it's a free and open source. So you just go and click this plus icon to add the video. I have this video right here. So we go to our files and then select the video from here. And now I want to select the model that I want to transcribe. Now they support three models, Whisper, Hugging Face and OpenAI. A whisper API. So in this case, I'm just going to stick with the whisper and the model. I'm going to be checking the base and the task I want to transcribe and the let the language be detected automatically. And then you before you click on run, this is the most important step is this you want to check on this box right here word level timing because this is going to create the word by word transcription. So this is very important. Click on this box, word level timing, and then click on run and let it sit for 30 seconds to transcribe your video. All right, guys, so it took around 20 seconds and has already transcribed our video. And as you can see here, we have word by word transcription. So you want to export that as an SRT file and I'm going to save it to my desktop. So it is right here. Let's exit out of the bus. Thank you. So here is the SRT file. It's word by word. This is all we need for now. All right, guys. So now that we have the SRT folder, we can import it to DaVinci Resolve. So in this case, so you're just going to want to go and import it just like that and then drag and drop it. And that's going to create the subtitle track right here. Ever wanted to create these and you can change the sizing and everything from here. But that's not what we're going to do because the customization will be really limited uh, when it comes to customizing these captions. So what I want to do, I want to change these SRT folder from subtitles. I don't want to have them as subtitles. I want to have them as a normal text. So this is a trick right here. So I want to go ahead and change this SRT folder into an XML folder. That way we can have it as a normal text and import it to our timeline and, and that way we can further tweak it and customize our captions the way we want. So let's do that. So let me just remove these and delete the track. And then I go to this right here, this SRT folder, and then I want to open up my browser and search for sub simple. This is the tool we're going to be using to change this SRT or convert the SRT into an XML folder. So let's scroll down and here I want to uh, from SRT to XML folder. You can check the time code. In this case, I'll just leave it as a default. Your font, you can choose your custom font to whatever you want. In this case, I'm just going to leave everything as a default. And then I will go to this SRT folder right here and open it up and then send file. All right, guys, so it has already converted that to an XML. I'm going to save it to my desktop right here. All right, so this is the XML folder, as you can see it right here. So now we want to go back to our DaVinci Resolve and import this XML folder. So to import an XML folder, you want to click on the Shift plus Control plus I to import the XML folder or right click and then go to import right here and then import the XML folder that way. So this is the XML folder, click open and then check the source settings and everything looks good. Just click on OK and that's going to open a new timeline for us. All right. So this is word by word. But now what I want to do is I want to go back to my original timeline and then I'm just going to drag and drop this XML folder right here and then right click on it and decompose in place using clips only. So now the text look really small. I want to change that. I want to tweak my captions the way I want. 
So first we want to change the font family and we want to change that to Open Sans. And I also want to change the font face to bold just to make it stand out even more. And then I want to change the size for everything. So that is good. And then the position, I want to position it right here. And also because it's white and I'm also wearing white, I want to change the color to be maybe something like this. This is good. And then I want to go to the drop shadow. I want to add some drop shadow right here, just like that. And if you want to add background or stroke or whatever. And to make your captions stand out even more, you can go ahead and add emojis. So for Mac, you guys go and click I think the FN button on your keyboard and that's gonna bring up the emojis. I'm not really sure. You guys go and search for the shortcut on how to use it. But for Windows, you guys click on the Windows key plus the period. So for example, here on Ever, I want to add one emoji right here. So Ever, Windows, and then, so Fire for example. But I find that if you do the stroke right here, it's gonna change the, as you can see here, it's gonna change the emoji to be something like this. And this is not what we want. So we wanna select the ever, all, only the word, if you wanna add stroke to it, right? That way we're not affecting the emoji. So that is a tip for you guys. Thank me later. And also guys, if you wanna add more animations, you can add, add transitions to make your uh, captions even stand out more. So to do that, you just go ahead to video transition and then go and add, for example, maybe something like this, also to the beginning, like that. Drag and drop, it's that easy. And then just keep adding these animations to your video. All right, guys, so if this video helped you in any way, shape or form, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you so much for taking time to watch our video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love, bye-bye.